walk me through what a day in the life of chief of MI6, or what many people here and around the world know as M from James Bond. Mm-hmm. Well, it's C, the real title. Oh, C, <laughs> correct. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I have to be a little careful here, because we, well, when we get into specific, specificity, um, you know, I, I, I then get into areas of official secrecy. But I mean, basically, well, in the period post 9-11, I mean, uh, the, my, my normal day would have been very disrupted. So, I, uh, and I mean, particularly if I described a day, let's say, in the post 9-11 period when the invasion of Afghanistan and then later on the invasion of Iraq, I mean, my day was quite arduous, but very exciting and very intense. So, I mean, I would probably leave my house in London, half past four, mm. quarter to five in the morning, it's a very late in morning. order to talk to the people who've been on duty overnight. And mm. then many days in the week, I'd see the Prime Minister um, early in the morning, so that would be about quarter past eight. So I had to get in, talk to the duty people who'd worked overnight, have myself fully briefed, see the Prime Minister at eight, eight fifteen, be back in my office by nine and then you know you'd start the day and the day would not you know the day would be issues of concern in terms of managing a largest organization and budgetary issues and all the boring things that you know predominate when you're actually in charge of an organization (laughs) there are always sort of personnel issues financial issues discipline issues all that sort of stuff but I mean I would basically give my senior managers very free reign. And I I basically would say to them, look, I know about your successes because all of that stuff gets to be through the normal channels. But I want to know the five or 10 things that are keeping you awake at night and the things that you're worrying about that I may not know about because I don't want tomorrow morning to be caught out by something you haven't told me about. So, I mean, basically, I used to say to my directors, um, you know, if something happens and I don't know about it, you're in deep. <laughs> and I mean, the day would go on and then, you know, there would be foreign visitors. There would maybe be official dinner in the evening, um, you know, where I would, because I had my own private uh, facilities for entertaining and a lot of the contacts I had, you know, if I'm like seeing somebody important from the Middle East, the head of government, or one of the sort of senior intelligence people from Egypt, or whatever. Um, and, you know, I get home 10, half past 10, 11 wow. o'clock. So a very short day. <laughs> a short day, a short day. You have to have stamina, uh, and uh, you have to, as it were, be the sort of person that doesn't suffer from stress either. So I mean, the two qualifications, I think, are, you know, is, is not someone who reacts to stress, and someone who's got stamina, and you can manage, let's say, on four or five hours sleep. <laughs>